Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here once again. In this video I'm going to talk about a problem that was reported by a Mac user. And this is not necessarily against Mac, it will also apply to Windows users as well. You have to be careful with these cleaning programs. Okay, so here's what happened. This individual downloaded an app called Clean My Mac. And he did that a few days ago. And he did that because he wanted to clear up some disk space. And he says, I use what they call Smart Scan. And it is supposed to scan files and erase the unnecessary ones. Oh, I'm always very wary about software that makes a decision for you as to what files are necessary and what files are not. It says it's pretty straightforward and a darn good app. I hope so. However, it is not built for photographers. Mm. Today I realized that it removed slash downsized all my images to JPEG files. And he ends that with bummer. Guess what he had original? Raw files. So he originally had, let's just say as an analogy, whole juicy bright red apples and now he only has apple cores. Yes, you can still identify them as being apples or from apples but they're not the whole complete apple. So here's my question, if I print an image that is JPEG, will the quality be worse than if I would print it raw? He seems to be confused as to what a raw file actually is and we'll touch on that in a little bit. Now I'm pretty certain that to print a raw file in Lightroom you have to change it anyways, but I would be wrong. Okay. Now a very learned person, I won't mention the name because it's not necessary, but he is quite, quite experienced. He puts me to shame. He writes back uh, to the answer. So there is my question. I print an image that is JPEG. Will the print quality be worse? than if I printed it raw. Here's his answer and I want you to guys listen to this very carefully because it, it's really important to understand the concept of raw compared to JPEG. That would really depend on what raw converted it used, how much compression it used, and whether it resized them or not. I hope it did not. I hope they still retain their full resolution even as JPEGs. With a good converter, little compression or no downsizing, you would probably not notice the difference in printing. Poor conversion, lots of compression, or any downsizing, then yes, you are going to notice. And apart from anything else, some forms of image editing are way better when working with raw images. JPEGs are also limited to only 8 bits per color channel. Then answering another one of his questions, now I'm pretty certain that to print raw, file in Lightroom you would have to change it anyways but I could be wrong okay so here's the thing about raw files and when you're shooting with your camera and you have your settings for it to shoot on raw or produce so-called raw images and basically raw images are just not converted they're whatever the sensor captures but here's a here's a secret behind raw images raw files aren't images what? Yes, raw files are not images, they're just a bunch of data. And your camera LCD has to convert that raw data into something that's visible. Whatever that format is that it's converting it to, that's what the file is at that very moment when you're viewing it. But the raw data is not a image file whatsoever. It's just the data components that when interpreted by either your raw converter or Lightroom for that instance or even Q image when you see it on the screen it's been converted to a visible file format in most cases on cameras from what I know and I'm no expert I think it's a JPEG and it's not a very good JPEG either so he goes on to say raw files aren't images they, they are data that has to be rendered into an image before it can be printed or displayed but that image is not a JPEG. JPEGs are lossy, compressed 8-bit files. 
Losing raw images is a big loss. Did you back up before the loss? And then he signs it. I hope he did. That's why another important thing to do with your... If you're going to go through the trouble of shooting everything in RAW, and that means that whatever your camera sensor can capture is what that RAW bunch of information contains. It has not been altered. It has Nothing has been removed. Nothing has been converted. It's just the RAW capture that the sensor catches. As light hits it, it converts it to data, and that is that is the file that you transfer to your computer. Now when you view it, it has to be reconverted to something visible, something that resembles an image, and that's what you actually see. Alright, so what you're actually seeing is not a raw file, just keep that in mind. Alright, the beauty about Lightroom is that it will not render your original file into something else. Photoshop will. When, when you open up a raw file in the raw converter and you want to export it, out so that you can actually edit it in Photoshop, you have to choose one of the common file formats, TIFF or or uh, PSD or JPEG or whatever the case may be. And so, yeah, it does a it, it does a full conversion to some other file format. When you work in Lightroom with raw images, you're working with a sort of proxy image. Okay, so Lightroom converts your raw data into something visible. You do your edits there, and then you print, and it hasn't been converted to anything. All right. So, yeah, the, do you get a better print than if you convert? Anytime you convert, yeah, you lose away or you, you throw out some information. And how much of that apple goes away? Is it 10%? Is it 50%? To me, converting to JPEG is like going from a WAV audio file to an MP3. That's, that's it. So you want to avoid that. So I'm sorry for the guy, and my recommendation is to be careful with his computer file cleaners uh, like he said it's an excellent cleaner for Mac but it's not for photography so it did what it what it thought it would be the best to get a big old fat raw file maybe 20 30 megabyte raw file and turn it into a 2 megabyte JPEG okay it thought he was doing the owner of the computer a big favor and it, actually it was it's just that now he has no raw files because he probably did not back them up and it sounds like he did not so that's another thing, back up your files. I have probably, I would say right now, I'm running around 25 terabytes of space on my computer, various drives everywhere. All right, so that's the only thing you can do. Either that or burn DVDs every time you do a shoot and store your files that way, and even that's not permanent. But anyway, so you gotta be careful with these programs that take it into you know their own methodology to to help you out in a way and as this guy found out he lost all his raw files even though that's what the the software just did its job he just never realized that he should have probably done a little research before he pressed that button okay so i hope you like this please like please share please subscribe until the next time happy printing bye bye